Today we're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star safety Ricardo Jones who's going to be playing for Clemson. We're going to look at the highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're covering the 2024 recruiting class player by player all off season long and you need to know what your players are looking like. Here's his 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, Fast forward a few minutes, I guarantee you will get there, but he's a four-star prospect. Ranked 10th among safeties in the composite, 12th in their rankings, 6'3", 200, so we got some length there. That's something to note when we look at the highlights here in a few minutes. Signed on National Signing Day, had 33 offers, and I have the scale that I made up. If you have 20 or more offers, you're good. 30 or more, great. 40 or more or pushing 40 elite. I made up that scale looking at this because I like looking at the offers instead of like the four star scale or even the rankings just to have another metric to look at, another gauge. And then also looking at the other schools, Clemson, Arkansas, Auburn, other power five programs after them. Let's me know that the market of college football thinks he's good. Multiple teams, over 30 of them, thinks he's good enough to get an offer. They want him on their team. They want to sign him. They want to take a look at him. That's a good indicator to me. A bigger safety prospect that always seems to be in the right spot at the right time. Junior season was marred by injury, but already has a dozen varsity interceptions to his credit. Has also produced his fair share of takeaways on the 7-on-7 seven -seven circuit while facing high end competition. That being said, he's the guy that can find the football. He's at the right place at the right time. He's probably got good reads. I want to see that length on the field. I also want to see a size of just athleticism with that and how well he moves. That being said, we got some production here. Missed some games in 2022 and 2021 as a sophomore. He racked up 41 tackles and seven interceptions. Sounds like he's an interception machine. Committed to Clemson in June of last year. Signed on National Signing Day. Tennessee trying to get after him. Remember, he's a four-star recruit up here by 24-7 Sports. Going over to on three. Four-star with all the other recruiting sites ranked in the top 15, top 20 range. On three has them at 17 among safeties. ESPN at 16. Rivals at 12 with the average being at 10 with the industry rankings. Other schools of note, Florida State, Auburn, Tennessee. Top tier Power 5 programs are after this guy, Michigan as well. That's a good indicator to me because they're not going after bad players. Also, six foot three, 190 is the listing they have. Let's take a look at the highlights. Let's see what he's about. I got about six minutes of highlights here. Let me know in the comments what you think of him below. But we're going to let this one rip. See how he plays. Good back pedal. Reads up quick. He's there. We got some good turn there. We got a little speed. Didn't see the top end yet. Quarterback stepping up. There's him. Reading the ball. Nice play. Nice center fielder back there. I like the height too. Just does well against bigger wide receivers. Reading the play, get down there, make the hit. Here's the next one. Good pursuit. Makes the tackle. Good pursuit on that one. This low on the tackle. Nice one. Next play, we got the back paddle. Quarterback looking to pass. We're going deep. He's coming for it. He's coming for it. He reads that easy. Reads that easy. Quarterback thought he had the target. Thought he had it, but his range, his ability to close the distance allowed him to get there. Next play, quarterback stepping back. Slings it up. See it? There it is. Breaks it up. Wasn't in frame for most of that one. Running back steps up, gets down, makes the play. Nice hit. Levels him out of bounds. There's that. Here he is. Gets low at contact. He likes to get low at contact. There he is getting low again. There's a pattern. He's a big guy that can get low. When you're that tall and you got to make tackles and you're coming in like that and you're the insurance, see again, 
I bet you feel like you gotta get a lot lower than somebody like my height. I bet you. To be able to have that right leverage. I bet you. I'm not tall, so I wouldn't have that. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how it felt. I imagine... I, this just came through my head. If you're six foot three or more, you're having to make a tackle back. See? You feel like you gotta get lower to have the correct leverage. And maybe there's a, some overcompensations or whatever, but he's getting low. It's not bad. But... Just that philosophy never came through my head before because I'm not tall. Steps back to back pedal. Ball's in the air. I got cut out. Coming up on the play. Gets low again. I like him getting low. That's smart. Getting there. Bam. Lowers the shoulder good. He's just got good bend. Good anticipation. Bam, right there. Nice hit. Bam, there he is again. He's willing to put them shoulders in there. Coming out there. See that hold contain and then come back in. Ah, smart. Just in case he kicked it out, you're not out of position. Smart player. He's a smart player. He's coming up. He's coming up. Staying with it. Look at that. Kept that from being a weird highlight. Ball coming up. We're going to collapse this. Do you see him angle that out towards the sideline before he did that? One, you had to kind of. But two, you had to be square. And you don't want him rolling off towards the sideline. It's the little things. He could have just hit him where it was at and went straight. Instead, he angled out. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? And Why is this in your highlights? It's all right. It's all right. But here we go. Next one. Come up there. Come up there. Boom. They did not talk about him laying the wood in the first couple sentences. Maybe in the back part. They weren't super enthusiastic. They talked about his height a lot. Which you can just say taller defensive back. Look at that ball skills, a wide receiver. But you're not talking about the movement skills. You're not talking about the speed. You're not talking about range. You're not talking his ability to tackle. Very weird scouting report on this guy. You didn't really talk about him. I mean, you did. There was more that I didn't read. But it feels kind of lazy that the first thing you talked about was his height. When it kind of stands out like a sore thumb. There he goes. Boom. Look at that. We got good movement skills. We're seeing that more with the ball in his hands. Granted, you, you only show what you need to show on defense. On offense, it's more like you got to. To make people miss. You're not trying to make really people miss on defense. You do sometimes, but. There it is. Ball in his hands. Bam. Good balance. I'm glad we're seeing this part. Is he throwing the ball too? See that quarterback as well? Did I see that? Is he throwing it as well? That's him. Oh my goodness. Looking downfield. Hits him. We got an all around good athlete. There we go. We're hitting edge. Getting low. This is a very good prospect. This is an underrated player. And I like that he's multifaceted. I like that when we saw him as a wide receiver hitting break off routes to create separation. Had him at quarterback a little bit, slinging the ball around. Has a nose for the football. Can really close the distance between the wide receiver and him, especially if he beats that cornerback and really get over there. That height is huge for him because you don't get many safeties like that. He's got a lot of range for that. Especially against bigger wide receivers. If they put that bigger wide receiver in a slot and you're having trouble with him, you can bump him up. See what happens with that. He's good in coverage. He's good against the run. Very solid against the run. Solid tackler. Gets low. Make sure he gets low. And I imagine why. Imagine if I was taller, closing the distance on a smaller running back, I'd feel like I had to get really low too. That came with that during this set of highlights. But he does lay the lumber. He had some big hits in this set of highlights. He also had some good interceptions. 
covers distance well. Smart player. Has good pursuit angles. I think he's going to do well at Clemson. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.